The Grand Canyon is so beautiful. It's hard to show on camera for one. you guys we are headed to the Grand Canyon super excited so what we did was we're staying in Vegas and we're driving there to the West Rim because there's a lot of different rims there's a south north east so there's a lot of research to do before you plan a trip to the Grand Canyon which I did a little bit of so I'm kind of prepared but kind of not but anyway the drive is about two hours and 15 minutes as you can see it's 7.36 and you get there around 9.43 want to get up early beat the traffic, beat the crowd that's going to be there and be able to head back before everybody else head back so I'll be dropping in on as we drive there the ride um, was a lot of mountains it was really nice to see um, very peaceful not a lot of greenery but a lot of rocky mountains and then once we crossed over to Arizona a little closer to the Grand Canyon it was like a small town like I'm sure everybody knew everybody and it wasn't much to see really as you can see Find us at a scenic view. So we're here at the scenic view. And that's the view. I feel like it looks better in person. to the Grand Canyon. Helicopter. This is the bus that we took to get to the Skywalk from the parking area. Some of the locations there you have to take the bus and some locations you can drive. First off, it is freezing out here. Wish it was a little warmer, but the views are crazy. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but it's pretty cool out here. This is the view of the Skywalk. You cannot take your own phones to take your own camera. So there, and the tickets was like $58. And you have to pay to get a Grand Canyon, but we got military discount, so it just depends. Alright, so we headed to the Skywalk restaurant. We already did the Sky View. And I'm gonna start some photos. Um, you can't take your own camera, you can't take your phone, you can't take your bag. I couldn't even take my bum bag. You can't take anything up there. But I'm gonna start some photos and just know some of the photos is missing somebody. And um someone didn't make it all the way around because they were scared. This is a tiki. Come here. This would be a great shelter to use on naked and afraid. The trip to the Grand Canyon West also became like an educational trip because I learned that it's actually the home of the Hualapai tribe. It's an Indian reservation that was established in 1883 and they have the footprint on the Grand Canyon West Rim. The Skywalk was also built for them, and that provides a lot of financial support for their tribe. That other side, no? Other view. Another foot lounge, this one's a big window. You gotta find me Instagram with the pictures. Oh my gosh, really? Get up. 
The Grand Canyon is so beautiful. It's hard to show on camera. For one, I'm too scared to get too close to the edge and get like a deep view. But the camera does it no justice. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh, they stand on that rock. All right, we are headed to Seven Magic Mountain, and it's literally just a place where there's colorful rocks, but it looks beautiful, and I think I'm gonna get a lot of nice pictures from here. I just still, I just got a sprite this time. I'm telling you, this place, if you like ramen, definitely visit here. Yo, I absolutely love ramen. I am so excited. And I get the spicy sauce. Plus, it's already spicy. No, this was it. Already spicy. But I had the spicy sauce. The ramen mix <laughs> All right, y'all. So I went to the casino, played one of my favorite games, High Card Flush, which actually now is called um, I Love Soup, something like that. But one, I Played $160, won, I got up to 1000 walked away to 700 but I said, you know what, I'm not going to give the casino back my whole $700. So I went to Coach and got me this wallet. I said, I'm leaving here with something. Isn't this so cute and dainty? Dainty. But I, this was $95, which was about $105. So the casino did get the rest of the money. But <laughs> I came out with a coach wallet. All right, y'all. This is a quick room tour of the link. So it has two bathrooms. This is the first bathroom, which is a half bath. And then the little kitchen area has a coffee machine, a fridge, no microwave little sink area and a little area you can sit down and eat and then this is the living area with a TV and here's the view uh, it's 3 o'clock in the morning so I'm heading to the airport here's the view from the window in the living area there's a spear and that is the high roller is a king room like I said we're leaving so that's why the bed not up but okay the TV nightstand and then the view from the bedroom which is pretty much the same as the view from 
the living area because it's really close. And then the only thing I don't like, this door does not open all the way, but boom. And then the closet area with the curtain, luggage thing, safe drawers. Here is the main bathroom. Mirror time, mirror time. And this sink. And this door is awkward as well because there's a toilet and then like the door is right there. And then here's another mirror. Did I show you all this mirror? And this mirror. And then there's an actual door that leads to the bedroom so you can close this. And that is it.